Once you have QuickBooks Payments, you can take payments directly from your customers. Let's go over how to add a payment option to an invoice and how your customer can pay you online. Then we'll show how to find out more info on all the deposits you receive from QuickBooks Payments, where you can set up next day deposits to get your money faster if you want, and what you need to do to keep your books accurate. If you still need to sign up for QuickBooks Payments, you can learn how to do that here. First, let's add a Pay Online option to an invoice. Select New and Invoice. Make sure your payment options are turned on. If they are, you'll see them here. If not, go to Payment Methods and toggle on the payment methods you want to offer your customer. Then, fill out your invoice. When you are done, send it to your customer. Your customer will receive an email with a link to pay your invoice using any of the payment methods you selected. Go to Deposits to see more info about the payments you are receiving. Each day, QuickBooks Payments combines all of the payments that are processed that day into a single deposit. You'll see each sale or payment that is part of the daily deposit along with the fees, which are charged with a separate transaction. It can take a few days for this money to show up in your bank account. When the money hits your bank account, you'll see your deposit in your transactions feed if you have your bank account connected to QuickBooks. You just need to confirm it, and your books are up to date. You can also accept payments on the go with the QuickBooks mobile app. That's it. Now you are ready to start using QuickBooks Payments and get paid faster.